Hello and welcome to my fifth video of my Nymph for Beginners tutorial series, Multi-Line Strings and Type Conversion. In the last video, I have taught you about multi-line comments and how to use them. Now, I will show you how to make multi-line strings. Normal strings are made using double quotation marks. Multi-line strings are made in a similar fashion, but with more quotation marks, six to be exact. Three on each side of the content of the string, this form is called triple double quotation marks, and it looks like this. Variable A is three quotation marks, not one, first line, second line, and third line. And you end it with, again, three quotation marks. Now let's echo this and see the result. Here we go, first line, second line, and third line. Just like with normal strings, anything inside the triple double quotation marks will become a string, a multi-line one. This is how you can store very long strings, very useful for sending messages over the internet where you need to use specific format to do so, like JSON. This will be explained further in a future video. Now let's go back to data types. In the last video, I told you about all the basic data types, which are again, integer, float, string, character, and boolean. Now I will show you how to declare and initialize them all, including characters and booleans I haven't covered yet. Okay. Variable sum integer if integer is value 10, variable sum float as float of some decimal number 5 and 5, variable sum string as string equals a string variable sum character as char equals single letter let's say a and lastly some boolean as bool is true characters are again single letter data types they can only hold a single letter and booleans are the simplest data type in them they can only hold a value of true or false. They are used for logical comparisons, switches, etc. For example, if you want to have the background of our console white to black, you would simply tie some code to the true or false value. More on that in a future video. Let's try to output each one of them with their data type. We can echo some integer. Now let's put a space in it, in between it and some integer that type. Now let's copy this entire line. We'll do this quicker, two, three, four, five times, and change it to some float, some float, some string, some string again, some character, some character again, and some bool, boolean. Okay, let's run this with F6. Okay, this doesn't exactly look nice. Let's put a comma first to make this a bit more readable. Whoops. Okay, again, here we go. Then integer 525 float, a string as string, a as character, true as bool. Now let me show you that bool can only hold true or false. Now if we put this to false and run it again, it's gonna display false. If we try to type anything else like a string, the compiler will instantly give us red curved line, type mismatch, try to do a character also so we cannot do this so bools can only have true and false now i will tell you about data type conversion and why you need to know it if you want to do any kind of calculations with variables i will demonstrate this by showing you that if you try to use an integer with a float which are both number data types that it won't work now let's first comment this out with shift alt a and also this one echo some integer plus some float. Now Visual Studio Code has already detected this to be a problem. Type mismatch got integer float. That is because you can only do this with same types. 
So if we wanted this to work, you would need to convert the integer to a float. The integer, not the float, because converting the float will round it up or down. Because the decimal part cannot be kept. Integers are whole numbers. To do this, we will have to use a new procedure that will convert our integer to a float before outputting it with echo. Let me demonstrate. <clears throat> Some integer to float. Now, this will work. Here we go. 15.25. And plus 5.25 is 15.25. Okay, let's do this for some more operators. Let's copy this three more times. And let's do it for subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now let's run this with F6. Here we go. They all work like you like they would on a calculator. Okay, let's comment this out and try this with floats to integers. Let's echo. Um, some integer plus some floats to integer. Let's see what this does. It does 15. That is because 5.25 cannot become a 5.25 of integer because integers are whole numbers, so it rounds it down to the closest side. So if it were over 5 it would go up and because it's less than 0.5 it went down to 5. Okay that's it for this video thanks for watching if you had any problems with any part of the video let me know in the comment section the code for this video is in the link in the description. Have fun!